What's up, my final love? This is Miss Fina D coming to you all from V19 Mint News. A lot of people have been asking me a lot of stuff, guys. They ask me about the Real Housewives of Atlanta every day on my social media. Are you returning? Are you returning? There's so many false reports out there. Um, I have remained quiet on it. I haven't said anything about it uh, as of yet, but um, it's coming. It's coming. I will be speaking uh, soon. I'll be speaking soon, so and then I have the right people with me to to speak, so I will be speaking soon. So wait for it, okay? Um, there's so much stuff happening that you don't even know about, but uh, I, I've been searching for weeks, and I finally found some people that are going to work with me on the situation and speak on my behalf. So you'd be really proud about that, um, and I will be able to. Um, hopefully tell my side of the story and what has been happening to me since 2008, 2008. It's been a very long time. And uh, so some of you guys may be surprised by it when you hear it and if you hear it, okay? So, uh, yes, I am strong. I am staying strong. Um, it is hard, but I'm staying strong, okay? When I fall weak, I usually fall on a bottle of vodka, okay? I can't fall on nobody else. Everybody gone. Everybody else is crying, so I can't get no help, honey. Not usually. Love you, Nene. Love you back. Uh, I just talked about the housewives. Asked me, am I coming back? I can't answer it directly like that, but we, I will be speaking on it soon. We're here working on it. It's been a long time coming, though. It's been a really long time coming. And, you know, when you are... You know, it almost feels like abuse when you are holding something inside that's happened to you for so many years over and over and over again. You know, a lot of time as black women, we hold a lot of stuff in. We don't want to, you know, rat on somebody. You hope that it will change, and then it doesn't. So it hasn't changed for me since 2008. So uh, it's my time to speak out and speak my truth, and uh, so I'm going to do that. Oh, most of you are just sitting there with this confused look on your face like okay hurry up and have this press conference already because this is a drag all right whatever it is that nini is talking about you know i'm we shall see she did post this picture from the protest that she went to previously and she wrote you can't silence me Black Lives Matter, My Life Matters, hashtag bullies, fix your wrong, okay? So whatever it is, I am wishing Nene well and I hope she find peace. And like I said, we shall see what she's going to talk about. Now most of you are aware that Nene and Candy had their little issues because Candy at first, okay, tut that Nini was talking about her when it comes to Nini complaining about certain people getting shows and she's not getting shows. I'm going to include the link to one of the videos in the description below, but you can go to the Rare House of Atlanta playlist to watch all of the videos. And in that video, you will see how Nini contradicts herself a lot, okay? So that's that. Since all of this been going on, you know, Nini been on social media just hinting at this, okay? One of her first posts was, during times like this, people are afraid of speaking out, afraid they might say the wrong thing, even though they have good intentions. Well, I got a little frustrated tonight talking to people about issues happening today and how some of us work so hard to please others, but when things such as this happens, there's no support from the people you've worked the hardest for the people you've given blood sweat and tears for it's hard letting your voice be heard but we have to start somewhere there's so many areas of life that i pray this movement will help i pray for the lives that have been lost and families that have been wrong thank you to all out there here fighting for justice and equality god is the answer and will always be the answer united we stand and then her caption so much i want to say hashtag black lives matter thank you for your service god bless okay then she went to twitter silence and powerlessness is a thing of the past women voices must be heard 
I will be heard once again, Black Lives Matter, my life matter, okay? Would you ever think a strong person would be suffering in silence? Would you ever think a strong person would be afraid of being condemned? Wouldn't you think the total opposite of all of that? My spiritual advisor posed these questions this morning. All of these companies coming out with large contributions towards social justice clearly are a lot of executives sitting in these offices with no heart and no feelings. You sit there knowing that a black person hasn't been treated equal. I just want you to know your she meant you are a piece of mm -hmm, ish. There are people out here acting like and fronting like they are supporting the cause, but they really want you to not call them out. So they pretend to be involved, pretend to care, but they really treating this like a PR stunt. Stop it. You just don't want to be called out. Like I said, whatever this is, I hope she's able to put it all out there, find some peace and move on because whether it's attention seeking or not, she's talking about it feels like abuse because she's been holding it in and all of that. And she said that she talked about falling a bottle of vodka because nobody else is around for her to fall on. Yet Greg is fine and everything is good. It's your husband, my husband's good. He's downstairs. Um, uh, have you talked to Portia? Portia and I text yesterday uh, and the day before. I text her when she was arrested in uh, Louisiana. Text her and then she texts me when she got out and texts me when she was at the airport trying to get back to Atlanta. And uh, then we text about Tamar. And uh, so, yes, we have been in contact with each other. Uh, Tamar and myself, we have been dealing with uh, a lot of different issues. Um, and I was trying to be her support system and she was being my support system. Um, um, I'm gonna wait and let Tamar is now getting the proper help that she needs. I'm gonna let her um, talk to you guys when she's able to talk to you guys. Very good, I love Tamar. Tamar, stay strong. And most of you have seen any Instagram live where she's drinking a lot. Some of her Instagram lives, she's completely out of it. And I'm just gonna throw it allegedly out there, but I have all of the Instagram lives. So whatever it is that's going on, you know, not being here for her or not, I do lift her up in prayers because we just witnessed what holding things in and allowing these networks and all of these different things behind the scenes to get to you can do. Nene know that personally from her experience with Tamar and talking to Tamar and she just mentioned that she and Portia talked to Tamar and I included the little clips of her talking about Tamar. I did post a longer video with everything else she had to say about Tamar. I'm going to include a link in the description below of that video. But knowing everything that's going on and her talking about ranking and all of that, like I said, I really do hope that um, she continue to talk to her spiritual advisor. So that's good. Um, Greg, of course. And I hope those are her choices and not the bottle of vodka, like she said. And once Nene does a press conference or whether it's on Instagram Live or it's a press conference somewhere, y'all already know I will be back. Yes, we might throw fun shade and not be here for people sometimes and all of that. But when it starts to sound alarming, then we just have to be like, okay, wait a minute. Yeah. All right. So anyways, I am wishing Nene well, like I said. I am wishing all of you well. Thank you for 35,000 subscribers. Take care. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when I do post you where I post it and I will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys God bless you